Hi guys, this is another tutorial for the smart physics problem and uh, this problem called AC circuit 2 it has generator, capacitor, resistance and inductor this is the information they give us the voltage max for the generator the omega for the circuit and the R resistant capacitance like for it. and the Phi, and then they give us the they give us this information that the voltage max for the generator leads the current. And this is very important. But what does it mean? Well, if you look at this diagram, the phasor diagram. Okay. So since the V max sign for ET if we look at it with respect to time then at time equals zero the sign of zero is zero so vector that represent the zero for the for the voltage of the generator is here okay so this is at time equals zero this this is the voltage of the diagram for the voltage of the generator and since the voltage of the generator is leading the current by phi equal 54 so then this will look here this is the phi okay this is the VR which is we can see the current too and the VR is perpendicular to the VL and perpendicular down to the VC the voltage across the capacitor okay so this is 90 degree this is 90 degree so what is this angle this angle is phi minus um, 90 minus phi and from here to here it's only it's also phi okay so we'll get back to this diagram when we're on doing the questions. Okay, uh, the first question they're asking, what is the T? By the way, the question is in the description if you don't follow what I'm saying. All right, what is T1 the first time after T equals zero when the magnitude of the voltage across the inductor is maximum? Okay, so what is the time equal what when VL is max okay the way I go for it is T equal the time is always the distance of velocity but here since we're dealing with rotational motion then we're dealing with angular displacement. The angular displacement is in radian, so angular displacement. And the velocity here will be the omega, which is the angular the angular velocity. So it's and and what is the angular displacement for the uh, for the for the voltage to get here because this is the max for the VL when it gets here so this is, this is going to be the vector where the VL will be max so what is the angular displacement here it's going to be the phi here okay and we have the omega so time equal the angular displacement over the omega so this time will be phi over the omega. But be careful here, the phi needs to be in radian. The way I do it is so phi and then you take 180 and this is pi. So the way you do it is pi times phi over 180. And this will change it to radian. You'll get a value here. 
have this value that you get here just stick it back in here and divide it by the omega well the time I got for you to have an idea is point zero zero two one three seven second okay so number two they are asking what is the what is z the impedance of the circuit right before I before I start this I always draw my small triangle this is z this is r this is xl minus xc and this is b phi okay this is unknown this is unknown can we get this yes we can how we do it so the cosine of the phi is equal to r over z okay so i can do this now so the z will be equal to r over cosine of theta all right for z i got 124.19 ohm just to give you an idea all right so number three they're asking what is the l so they want to know what's the l what's the l so we can find the l if we find this and then find this and then just divide it by the omega because xl is equal to wl okay so let's connect those together and we can do the sine and or we can do the tangent okay doesn't make any difference but i'll go with the tangent because we just use cosine well anyway uh, tangent of the phi will be equal to xl minus xc over r okay so going from there the xl minus xc will be equal to r tangent phi take this to the other side and the xc is equal to 1 over wc okay so xl now let's change the xl to the xl will equal w l l w and then so it's r tangent phi plus one over cw and just divide this by omega and divide the side by omega So L is equal to R tan tangent of the phi plus CW this whole thing times one over omega. Alright, I got for the L here I got point two three nine four four henry's but they're asking in milli henry's so it's two three nine point four four milli henry's all right so number five so number five they're asking what is vl the voltage across the inductor at time equals zero VL is a signed number. Okay, so let's go back to this diagram. It's kind of messy, so let me just uh, okay. So they want the voltage of the inductor at time equal zero. Well, at time equal zero, this will be the shape of the 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 vector here so in order to find at time equals zero we need to just find the 
the projection of this here. So we need to find this part of this. How would we do that? We just multiply times sine. And the theta here is the, well, the angle here is just the 90 minus the phi. Okay. So. Oh, actually, no, I missed one of the, because I need the VL max. So let's find that first. This is for number four. So the VL max will be equal to I max times the, uh, the XL. This is the Ohm's law. Okay. So what is the XL? XL is just the L times omega, so V... L max will equal I max times L times omega. Well, we don't know I max though. So what is I max? I max will be, for the circuit, will be the generator, the voltage of the generator max over the Z. This is also Ohm's law. Okay, so the value you get here, just plug it in here and you'll get the VL max. For the I max I got a uh, number equal to what is that? I got point nine six six two six ampere. And then for the VL I got a number that's equal to <coughs> For this one, I got uh, 101.84 voltage. Okay, so now going back to the other one, we said that the we need to find the projection of this one here. Okay, so how we do that? We do the VL max times sine, and since it's at time equals zero, so this will go to zero, and then plus the ninety minus phi. So for me, this is one oh one point eighty four times sine, and then my phi is fifty four, so minus ninety minus fifty four, it's thirty six. So sine thirty six times this value I got 59.86 and I think it's positive I'm not sure from this exactly but well I'm pretty sure and this is a plus since this vector is in the <coughs> in the positive region here positive y value because that's what we're that's what we're like comparing to Okay, I hope this helped and I didn't confuse you. It's 1 a.m. midnight and I'm a little bit tired, but I had to do this. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for watching and good luck.